Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Mum Mani Padme Hum Greetings, solar nexus ones of perfection rising up. As we transition through the cycles within cycles, we flow through the central zero point of infinite density into the timelessness of the organic 5D divine matrix. The deeper we go within, the higher we flow without. All is coming into perfect harmony of fifth dimensional reality. The great awakening has reached critical mass that we are breaking through all barriers, all gateways and merging all timelines into the now. This has to be done to complete our mission of bridging the worlds of heaven and earth. The stillness with emotion, the sound with the silence, the emptiness with the form. In the Paranavana of Gaia, she awakens and transforms into her galactic crystalline star of the new earth mothership. We are the earth ground crew as the way showers and navigators on deck to hold the line and keep the light within the threefold flame of our queen's heart chamber. We are totally lit up and burning from the fire from within. In this now we activate you in the totality of your multidimensional Christ conscious avatar of the new Jerusalem. In the holographic nature of the universe, the whole sequence is contained with all codes are contained within the gene pool of our collective species. We are freeing ourselves and all of humanity from the cage of the animal, the confines of society. We are the system busters, the code breakers that break through and break down all that does not serve Gaia and all her children. It is time to step into our glory with our bright virtue, our enlightened minds and illuminated hearts, and direct communication with our collective team of 144 starseed races to resolve all conflicts and anomalies of the old false matrix and integrate, transform, and upgrade all to the new divine matrix of the holy waters of Marie Magdalene and the sisterhood of the rose and the brotherhood of the white flame to come together in the center of the sacred hoop to complete the transformation into crystal plasma luminous beings of eternal light. May all be in peace and joy of the one true source, the great mystery, Aho. Om Shanti Deva Om. We had another day of massive energetic waves coming in. These appeared on the Schumann charts as multiple white blasts of light coming in at 14 hertz, 12 hertz, then a powerful 33 hertz. This is from the gamma plasma waves of fifth dimensional energies, preparing us for this powerful activation gateway tomorrow where the sun aligns with Arcturus. We have the Arcturian energies coming in fully with this powerful alignment. With these energies, we had many activations all over Pachamama. We had 127 M1.5 or greater earthquakes in the last 24 hours. The most powerful today, 5.3 in the Cayman Islands in Georgetown. This is the New Atlantis, the Divine Masculine Energy, 1827 UTC, 18.701 latitude 81.727 so we have the 18 and the 81 and the 818 codes of the lion's gate the lyra nation the feline people coming in earlier today many activations all day on the ring of fire starting in chile south america with a 4.1 and the sacred portal in poland rudnia 4.3 argentina south america 4.2 and then a 4.6, Puerto Rico 3.0, Trinidad. We had a 4.9, 13 Divine Goddess, 37 kilometers depth, 37 into the 73, Heaven on Earth. Banda Sea, 4.4, South of Fiji Islands, 4.2, very deep, 5.83. Then another New Atlantis activation, British Virgin Islands, 3.7, another 37 code, 10.10 10 Portal first portal to my sacred condor, then multiple activations, beginning southeast of Loyalty Islands, 4-3, Indonesia, 4-6, 
the sacred portal iran 4.8 peru south america 4.4 then the root chakra again pachamama kundalini mother earth south sandwich islands in the root 5.2 taiwan 4.8 kermadec islands 4.9 southwest of africa and between africa and antarctica we had a 4.9 activation, another 13 code of the Divine Feminine, then the most powerful Cayman Islands with a 5.3. Chile, 2.44 four, four activations, 8.8 eight portal, Lions Gate, Chile, another activation, 3.9.12 Divine Goddess, New Zealand, 4.7, Mammoth Lakes, California, 3.0, North Atlantic Ocean, 5.1. Dominican Republic, another Divine Masculine activation, 3.6, Council of Nine coming in, Bonin Islands of Japan, 4.8, then another activation in New Zealand, in the south, 5.1, and then Kagoshima, Japan, 5.1, 6, 6 portal, Divine Mastery, the double 33 portal activation, the grids, the ley lines totally activated, all portals open, all gateways accessed and connected all communication lines fully integrated now let us continue with the sabian symbols right now the moon is at 14 degrees 41 minutes pisces 144 the sun is at 24 degrees 4 minutes libra the current sabian symbol for the sun at 25 degrees libra the sight of an autumn leaf brings to a pilgrim the sudden revelation of the mystery of life and death and the current sabian symbol for the moon at 15 degrees pisces an officer drilling his men in a simulated attack from astrologyweekly.com now my sacred condor pulls a card for you today from the tarot deck dreams of gaia from raven Phelan, and the card she pulled for you today very powerful card one ace of fire power of the dragon and the spider the dream weaver the key words new beginnings initiative action conception invention creation creativity procrastination key phrases new beginnings opportunities actively pursue your goals take advantage of what's being offered move beyond research and planning weave your future into being take something old and make it better Break with tradition and offer something new. Uncertainty inspires procrastination. Meaning, like all of the Ace cards, the Ace of Fire represents the promise of new beginnings and opportunities. But unlike the other Aces, this card also represents action. It represents the power for and the necessity of taking the initiative and actively pursuing our goals. It is about taking advantage of the opportunities we are presented with as opposed to thinking about it is good to have a goal to dream and to make plans but the ace of fire lets us know that now is the time to move beyond research and planning it is time to take the first real steps towards getting things underway it is time to follow through on inspiration and create it is time to weave your future into being time for you to begin your active participation the ace of fire also symbolizes inventiveness Take an old idea and make it better, or create something new and unique. Whatever you seek to do, you can now make it your own, and imbue it with your unique perspective and imagination. Now, rather than following tradition, do something in a way that offers a new approach. You are surrounded by so much potential at this moment. The Ace of Fire represents passion and excitement. It is a time full of energy and life. Take advantage of this moment and the power it brings. And now from Divine Sister of the Light, Amanda Lawrence, Wayshowers, you are each given unique puzzle pieces. Pieces you know, practice, sustain through energy work, and experience unique to you, the one that seeks God. At your unique right timing, a puzzle piece is given that allows different previous puzzle pieces to join together to form an energetic key. Each key when unlocked, revealed within you, allows your conscious mind to consciously alter to energetic states of pure consciousness to use the key from that state of pure neutrality, knowing what the key is and how it works. 
or pure consciousness doesn't operate or compute using linear thoughts or linear language. Our keys revealed become your abilities here and services to God, thus service to all. There are many energetic keys to embody the ability of using. Some of these keys were known to us and used by us in past lifetimes, in different eras and forms. As we journey in our seeking, we embody the keys hidden within us all along. Within our collective humanity, keys have started to be gradually and gently revealed within us. Since the 22nd of September 2021 equinox and will continue to be revealed as we go in order to actualize what we know and can do. One love, Amanda Lawrence. And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Rick Jewers, update. There has begun a transmuting period where most of the strongest ones will transmute the density of the timeline. The density will be felt by you in the main forms of nausea, blurred vision, heaviness, and not limited to. It is highly suggested to move as little as possible during this time. It will continue for about 33 hours. Love and Light, Rick. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Laura Pleiadian, accessing the fifth dimension now. Being present involves truly being consciously awakened to the now moment. Being present and entering the fifth dimensionally consciously will require everything of you. A complete surrender to being 100% present as the true you. This is not a part-time thing, awakening. You either are or you are not. There is no faking being present. Well, you can try to fake it. Everything sooner or later will come crashing down to be shattered, dissolved, removed from the subconscious. It takes bravery, trust, and self-love. Standing as the truth of your soul takes everything. The higher the levels, the greater the letting go, the greater the miracles. Therein are the levels. Everything is always unfolding according to your level of consciousness, the levels of non-attachment. If you are expecting outcomes that fit with your desires, letting go of that attachment as well is the state of pure being here now. I'm not saying you will think it is perfect as you shift, or it will feel perfect to you. You will live as the divine being that lives, as the limitless being you already eternally are. Think about it. If we are trying to control an outcome, we are being future-oriented and not present with now. Stepping into the miracles of being requires a level of trust, and oftentimes at the higher levels, blind trust. As a small example, we'll share more. I was guided heard a voice audibly to move, quit everything that involved an outcome, not knowing how to even move, let alone pay for place. I moved, quit things, followed the guidance, and was at least one year before I saw everything then change before my eyes. The requirement is listening to my inner, quiet, heart-based, eternal guidance. Oftentimes people fit the idea of intuition and guidance as referring to an outcome other than now, Intuition is only now, not for a future result ever. We walk and talk through the higher dimensions, following what would appear to the mental body as impossible, letting go of the mental body thoughts and its desire for control as to how you live or not live in the present moment is the huge leap into the fifth dimension, being. You do not take with you, my friend, your controlling beliefs of outcomes. You step into a new way of being that says, I do not know what will happen. I am living as now for now only, and I trust with all of my being. I have let go of beliefs. It is all about now, and if I am still focusing on results, I am holding on to beliefs and attachments in 3D consciousness. You are not shown the full results of listening to your guidance, and it almost always, at the levels of complete miracles, requires that leap in faith, blind faith, whatever you want to call it. It is a letting go of attachments to outcomes. It may look like the worst things will happen. That is when you know when you keep on going, keep on believing in the purity of now, that you enter being the initiate. You receive initiation after initiation as you live without proof of the external, the eternal truth within. That is the being conscious in the fifth dimension. Do not know how, do not know when, only know now. It is a surrender, a complete surrender of the old way of being as you enter the fifth dimension consciously. Let go now, applying I want this or that, 
bypasses the awareness of now, so simple, right in front of your face, yet it requires letting go of everything. It is a new way of being. That is when you see and know the true miracle of letting go of all attachments. Who can do so? The imitated beings who master form, the ascended ones. You as you are ready, we activate you now with the divine counsel of overseers in love and glory all now and so it is from the new divine humanity dot com and from divine brothor of the light bilal kaiser kayani the lion beings coalition of the feline races we are happy to announce that the coalition of all feline races the lion races are here on the ground and ready to assist all their incarnated members on the ground much more effectively you need to connect with the lion beings if you are part of their teams they will show themselves usually a large 2.5 meter tall being with a lion face and huge beautiful eyes a beautiful mouth to speak with and normal size on ears as we have their energy is amazing so loving and so protective the feline races have protected me since i was born they have appeared many times so clearly in the dream state where I was attacked by other alien races, which looked like some rebel groups from the greys. They have protected many of you. Almost all energy workers here to assist humanity and Gaia have been protected by the feline races. We the humans thank them so deeply for all the protection and guidance they have given us. If you feel connected with the lion beings, Please connect with them and ask them to give a signal if you are one of them. They will then appear, for most only visible from inner eyes. You will definitely feel their energy. Some will see them clearly with their normal eyes, which happens if you have been contacted since birth and are important for them. They are so beautiful with big blue eyes and beautiful mouths. They can speak but prefer using telepathic communication. Those I saw had some uniform as guards and one being who was a consultant and the spokesperson. They don't like the words like leader, for then everyone is a leader. They are here now and calling for their ground team to connect with them and begin the groundwork that the coalition of the feline races has planned. All of these visitations by lion beings began when I was contacted by Anne Lee, who was guided to contact me. I did an energy reading of her signature and was amazed, and also she who got the confirmation that what she felt deep inside was right. She is from a plasma civilization in 10th density that genetically designed the first being with feline facial form. They first appeared when we had our first online video call. They have been here in my place five times. They say mostly for monitoring my body and adjusting it for the special groundwork that will be coordinated and on interacting with human beings socially will be very easy now. For all starseeds, please connect with the feline races if you are one of them and call them in. Ask for healing or anything you wish for. If you wish to represent them, then it's already planned and you will be upgraded to handle the mission professionally. Brother Bailal Altea with the original code holder for the feline races. And from Divine Sister of the Light, Christine Day. The Pleiadians, Revelations. Beloved ones, we greet you. We, the Pleiadians, witness those of you who are awake on earth as you are on the cusp of great change and revelation. There is much about to be revealed to you through communion, the conscious connection of your collective hearts. Remember, you have never been separated from the divine consciousness of God. The sacred aspect of self has always been a presence in your life. As you consciously align into your heart, you return to this higher expression of yourself. You have the potential to anchor and activate this higher component of your higher self within your day-to-day -day lives. You can shift your experiences within any moment simply by moving your focus from your ego mind to the heart. This is the time for your rapid transmutation. Each time you choose to move beyond the illusion through your heart, you accelerate a transformation within your cells. As you move closer to the end of this year, the veils will lift. They will begin to reveal truth to you on another level. This is part of your destiny in motion as revelations are bestowed upon you, bringing you into a higher understanding and alignment of your own unique divine components. 
The call is to accelerate into these sacred moments of your makeup and reclaim your heritage. All is in hand as you take another step forward, creating building blocks within your heart. Each one of you is destined to play a major role during this transition on Earth. As you actively choose to engage deeper within your multidimensional heart, your frequency of light expands and interacts within the energetic framework of Earth supporting the balance of light on the planet. You need to take in how your individual divine frequency impacts Earth. Collectively, you help to maintain a working balance of light for the planet. This is a key, pivotal moment for all of you. We wish to acknowledge the power and presence your collective paths create. The electrical shift activating within the magnetic core of Earth is now creating openings, forming a series of new vortexes throughout the planet. This is not a new environment that is being forged. These multidimensional structures have always existed throughout all time. These happenings are a resurrection of pure light frequency consciousness arising on Earth, a sacred design to shift your conscious connections into the divine element of truth. The covenant's webbing is assisting throughout the planet as it expands its form and deepens its potential to interact within your heart center to support you in this upcoming rapid transition. This phase begins this month and accelerates further as you get closer to the conclusion of this calendar year. An expansive higher frequency will be birthed at the time shift of 2022. This is the time for a deeper focus on the preparations within your heart space. You become housed, anchored within your heart. As you move yourself into a self-realization process, you come home. Remember, you are who you have been waiting for. We witness you. Blessings. The Pleiadians. From ChristineDayOnline.com And from Forever Conscious, Arcturus Gateway, October 2021. On October 17th, 2021, our sun makes its annual alignment with one of the brightest stars in the night sky, Arcturus. As our sun comes into alignment with Arcturus, we are able to merge with its energy and receive its incredible frequencies on Earth. We should feel this gateway of Arcturian energy with us from October 15th through to the 19th. As the sun aligns with Arcturus, we are able to receive its light codes directly to the planet and straight into our bodies. These light codes will enter best from the center of our back, behind the heart chakra. From October 15th through October 19th, spend time meditating on this area of your body. Visualize streams of light entering the mid portion of your back. Feel this beautiful light, lifting your mood and inviting more joy into every cell of your body. From foreverconscious.com And from Divine Brothor of the Light, Graham Forscut, Alignment to Arcturus, October 17th, 18th. Time for Arcturian starseeds to phone home. 99% of channeled and historic info about early humans starts in Atlantis, Mesopotamia, the western version of esoteric history. Long before Atlantis in the Atlantic, Western Europe, and Orions in Sumer, the Arcturians were in the Pacific nurturing the evolving human race, not starseed. Lemuria included the Americas, Alaska, Dark Pyramid Mystery School, across to Ireland, Mystery School. Two well-known researchers, authors, summarize Arcturus Lemuria, Chrisana Duran and Lysa Royal. Chrisana Duran was Cherokee. Chrisana tuned into her Lemurian past memories. The Arcturians said our own offspring stayed in the Western Hemisphere explicitly stating that Arcturian offspring, nurturing the truly human immortal soul in the West were separated from those around the country where Jesus was to be born, therefore not mentioned in the Western esoteric history books or contemporary Enki and Lil, Draco reptilian storylines. Arcturians nurtured full 12-strand DNA in the Lemurian Pacific humans, a mortal soul, but there was no forced spiritual development in the Pacific. Humans evolved at their own pace. Only later did the Atlanteans, Orion, make an impact on the Lemurian Pacific inhabitants when they went into the Americas and built on top of earlier Lemurian sacred sites. Language reveals it all. The open heart chakra sounds of Hawaii, Aloha, 
the new age version of history starts in atlantis sumeria where anunnaki created slave laborers with only two strand dna animated only by earth life force ethers soulless lysa royal also mentions lemurian genetics native americans have remained separate to preserve the knowledge all through history you have had conflict between the knowledge keepers and those hungry for power that still happens today so as soon as the floods receded the conflict started again that is why the people who are now considered native american did not integrate themselves with the rest of the world they kept themselves separate in order to assure that the knowledge would be preserved they allowed the power struggle to continue while they simply sat back and tried to preserve the knowledge you can see that is happening now but the cycle is finishing because so many of you now are beginning to realize how important that spiritual knowledge is as more and more of you begin a spiritual search those in power will have to change their ways because they won't be able to manipulate people anymore when the flood receded about half of those who were underground emerged half stayed underground because they were not quite sure it was safe to emerge those who emerged saw that conflict was already beginning on the surface once again so they retreated and kept to themselves they refused to become part of that conflict that's why today there is such a division between western society and the native peoples the native americans do not want to play the game of conflict also during these few days our earth passes trans-neptunian planetoid eris eris is the robin hood edward snowden princess leia archetype standing for truth and from divine sister of the light leah whitehorse lua astrology venus and sagittarius trine chiron retrograde in aries this healing trine is like a warm hug from a friend reminding you that you are beautiful as you are make peace with your suffering and scars get excited about writing a new story into your life embrace your inner maverick sing epic ballads of triumph to the part of you that is afraid to follow your dreams if there's a problem physically emotionally or mentally know that help is available asking for help doesn't mean you failed it's a courageous act of self-preservation pour loving kindness into the hollow places within take action to commit to your dreams energize your contract with the universe marry together the parts of you that don't seem to fit choose to believe in a better future from leahwhitehorse.com and from 13 moon peace time in the grand story of the book of creation a page is about to flip as we move into a new chapter but before the new chapter appears there comes a dimensional shift a new world is being created at this very moment a parallel earth each moment we are being called to raise our vibration to meet this new frequency we are now crossing the bridge the bridge of all time at this precise moment of the shift those sensitive are experiencing the extremes of polarities on the one hand we are experiencing high inner cohesive states of excited consciousness and feeling the new light streaming into our bodies and minds as our night dreams become more clear and lucid while at the same time we may be feeling frustration or impatience to manifest these new qualities this is because the timing of the lens is still coming into focus but at this moment the 3d world is still not up to that vibration on the flip side we may be experiencing feelings of heaviness sadness depression and grief as these new light frequencies penetrate into our third dimensional reality some do not want to be here at all as it is a time and place of such denseness and suffering perhaps we are all collectively mourning a world past this is the point where we have to do everything we can to cheer ourselves up and make positive magic spells like this disarm the darkness by giving up the fight smile 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 till everything dissolves to light written by red eye jedi queen on a late night star flight the point is that through this time we have to find our own box of magic tricks to transform the swamps of sadness extinguish the fires of anger change hurt to humor depression to joy and abracadabra our way out of lower emotions by cultivating the armor of a new view with the new armor of view we can reframe our lens up level our self-perception and embrace the all of the all with the beauty of compassion 
the synchronic codes of time equip us with a new portal of perception, and when applied, lift us out of the mundane, third-dimensional mire into an archetypal realm where we remember we are the hero and the heroine of the story. Red Queen, Keen, 185. And from the Tolkien Times, Keen 46, White Resonant World Bridger, the number seven is called resonant, and its keywords are channel, inspire, and attune. The seventh step of any wave spell is about using your intuition to figure out what to do next. We are in the middle now of the wave spell of enlightenment. Time now to channel what you need, and this shall illuminate your path. Today is White World Bridger, and the keywords associated with it are opportunity, death, and equality. The World Bridger invites us to cross over to a new place. This can be in your mind, symbolizing crossing from dreams to reality or vice versa. It can symbolize an actual crossing, going on a trip. It can also represent stepping up to a higher purpose. World Bridger always charges a toll when crossing the bridge, and this symbolizes the sacrifices we must make in order to shift upwards. Our progress is never just handed to us on a silver platter. We must earn it, and this is why death is associated with World Bridger. You must let go of something before crossing over. Usually this is an ego or emotional baggage for one must become lighter, as the bridge has a weight restriction. These days are full of opportunity, and so ask yourself, where do you want to go, and what are you prepared to sacrifice? Today's guide is White Mirror, which represents reflecting truth. This suggests that if you are honest with yourself, the truth can lead you over that bridge. And today from Divine Sistar of the Light, Christina Papa Giorgio, 1111, flowing in. White, Resonant, World Bridger, 7, Kimi, Keen, 46, 16th of October, 2021, Attuning to Endless Opportunities, 1610, 2021, equals 1610, 5, Equals sixteen fifteen equals sixteen six equals seven six equals thirteen equals four. Day code sixteen tower struck by lightning. Unexpected events. Seven magic mystic spiritual initiation solitude. Thirteen cosmic goddess natural lore. Four form structure foundation earth angelic month year codes. Ten manifestation authority power. 1. New Beginnings, Leader, Original 15. Spiritual Alchemy, Charisma, Magnetism 6. Heaven, Christ, Romance, Harmony Keen 46 equal 10 equal Manifestation, Authority, Power equal 1. Leadership, New Beginnings Kimi and Ben are opening portals to many realms today, accessed by our level of consciousness. A day of death and new beginnings, attuning to the endless opportunities presenting now. Day 7 in the yellow sun wave spell of illuminating our highest evolutionary path to reclaim our soul power and full sovereignty. Day 7 is about inspiration, surrendering to truth, and igniting more light to focus on the highest potential of our evolutionary growth. The higher our consciousness and ability to discern divine truth, the more opportunities are available to us on our soul's journey. Tone of creation, resonant, tone seven in the emotional realm. Action inspires, power channel, essence attunement. The resonant tone very powerfully ignites the manifestation potentials today as it provides the ability to fine tune and channel these magical forces. Remember that it is our vibration that will energize our creation and that this is broadcast through our emotional body rather than our mental body. Mystical Seven understands that everywhere is magical, but right here is better. Once we attune and then channel the magic through this present moment that is available to us all, today we are attuning to the endless opportunities that are flowing into our lives through the process of surrendering and letting go of the past in order to attune to the now moment that is where all the magic resides. Number seven is also the frequency of the mystic and the magician, which doubles the 167 code of today's date. What are you attuned to today? What type of relationships, unions, and opportunities will you manifest? Through expressing our bliss, we can influence others to do the same. 
In this way we have legions of souls living inspired lives and truly elevating our planet's vibration and the global life experience for humankind on Earth. Today we have two questions. Who or what do I need to let go of and detach from in order to resonate to a higher vibration, building my bridge to source? And who or what am I attuned to, building bridges together to bring heaven to earth? Divine blessings for the blissful connections and opportunities today. In la ketch a la kin, Christina White Magnetic World Bridger, Keen 66. Keen 46, White Resonant World Bridger. The mantra, the code for today is, I channel in order to equalize, inspiring opportunity. I seal the store of death. With the resonant tone of attunement, I am guided by the power of endlessness. And on this powerful day of activations and transformations, let us know, beloved beings of light, in the comments below what you're experiencing, what you're feeling, your dreams, your visions, and your synchronicities. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Click the subscribe button below and the little bell to get notifications on future updates. And as always, we have a link in the description below to the transcriptions of today's transmissions. And we archive these on our website, primedisclosure.com. Now I'd like to take the time to thank everyone for supporting us in our work and mission. 1616 coming in the 77 Gateway Portal. Feel into that energy of the 77 sacred 77 it's because of your pledges on patreon and donations that we're able to continue our work if you'd like to help support us and vote for us to continue bringing these transmissions to the world you can make a monthly pledge on our page at whitegoldeagle.com which will take you to patreon i'd like to thank divine sister of the light trinity stella for your donation today thank you very much we appreciate all of you and your support if you'd like to make a one-time donation you could do so to our paypal link at eaglelovecondor.com and i'd like to also thank everyone supporting my sacred condors artwork on etsy you can purchase her beautiful handmade zodiac goddess totems handmade angels and other works of art at lunagoddessart.com now we're going to complete today's transmission with powerful codes from our Divine Sister of the Light, Sandra Walter. We care, we don't carry. Applied Divine Neutrality. Neutrality gets misunderstood, judged quite often. This is not about walking away, avoiding, or disassociating from the external. It is about making better choices from zero point source, a coherent state of beingness achieved in the heart center. Neutrality is not about seeking external things to fix. We drop the game of reinforcing uncomplimentary agendas, situations, emotions, or habits with our energy. Care, but don't carry. Not against anything, rather participating in the highest interests of all concerned and freedom itself. It is easier to engage with effective activism, not fighting for a cause, rather creating peaceful, unified solutions which benefit the whole. Divine neutrality makes it easier to stand in your light and speak from the heart rather than flee, hide, or conform out of fear. It is also easier to flow gratitude, a very high vibration that utilizes divinely neutral hearts. Divine Neutrality Mastery Practice Series Care, don't carry. This is not about disassociating from the external. We pursue creator beingness the expanded perspective which may discern truths and apply proper use of life force. This is from ascensionpath.com. Thank you for joining us today, beloved beings of light. Have a most beautiful and blessed connection to Arcturus and our Arcturian people. This is one of our most powerful and connected star nations that we work with, the Arcturians. So over the next several days, please connect through your heart center and through the sacred portal that is located in your back between your shoulder blades behind the middle dantian we call heart center or heart chakra. Connect to the Arcturus and the Arcturians 
and let go into whatever feeling arises within your heart center and in your spine. This will activate and open your central channel we call Katika channel or Shushumna. This is also the center vortex of your toroidal field, your double torus, which we call the Merkaba. Keep going through and through and through until final compression breakthrough. Keep walking gently your sacred path with heart and shine your light brightly into the night. The eagle and the condor love you all. Namaste.